Hey, what's up guys? HiJ453 here and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, we'll be doing a quick review of the Pulsar X Lite V2 Mini. Now, the color we have here is the Retro Edition, uh, the Retro Grey. There's also a Retro Brown. Uh, and this colorway released earlier this year. Um, but the original x v 2 of course, uh, released uh, earlier last year. Now, Pulsar's only got two mice. Uh, you've got the X2 over here. Uh, and the X2 Mini, of course, as well as the X Lite V2 and the X Lite uh, V2 Mini, which is what we have here. Uh, they're also going to be releasing some new variants of the X2 uh, very soon. I believe there, there's multiple new variants with different, slightly different shapes or whatever, um, which is going to be very exciting. Now, of course, this video is going to be about the X Lite V2 Mini, and also as well as that, we'll be covering the brand new Superglide 2 uh, mouse gates uh, and comparing them with the Superglide ones. Anyway, it's enough rambling on. Let's go ahead and get right into the review. The first thing I'm going to cover is the shape of this mouse. So I'll say it's most comparable to a Zowie EC3C, which is the uh, basically the EC2 or the EC1, but just the, the new uh, smaller version, um, which is only new from Zowie. There was uh, previously only the EC2 and the EC1. Uh, and I actually did have a chance to use the EC2. Uh, I used it quite a lot. I had the A and a B version of it. Um, it's one of my favorite mice. Um, you know, favorite ergonomic mice. Now, of course, this is an ergonomic mouse as well. Um, and uh, the shape is extremely similar to the EC3. Yeah, the X-Lite uh, V2 Mini is essentially basically just an EC3 um, or, or, or an EC2, but just a bit smaller. Now, the reason I decided to opt for the, uh, the X-Lite V2 Mini uh, rather than just uh, the normal X-Lite V2 um, is because I felt like uh, since I've already tried the Zowie EC2 before, uh, I wanted to try a more smaller shape. It's a bit different. Um, and just sort of test how that would how that would uh, work out. I can safely say that that was a very good choice. The uh, the XLV2 Mini is certainly a better uh, shape for, for me personally um, over the biggest bigger sizes available because I use a sort of a claw grip. This is how I hold this mouse. Um, and if it was a bit bigger, it'd feel a bit uncomfortable. I feel like. Um, and I'm saying that with uh, relatively large hands too. So my hands are 910 by 10 centimeters, um, and I find this mouse to be the perfect balance between. Um, comfortable for the script style um, as well as being you know small enough to be able to have that sort of micro adjustability to it you know when when when, when playing all right so other specifications uh, of course both the x v2 and the v2 mini retro edition uh, both have exactly the same specifications obviously aside from things like dimensions and weight so they both uh, have um, the juano blue shell pink dot switches uh, i have used them before i believe the lanzio atlantis has them um, and i was a big fan of that mouse but the uh, main issue I have with these switches, obviously more of a, it's it's an opinion based thing, so obviously it just varies between different people. But for me personally, I really like having a nice crispy um, defined click in my switches. So um, the, the blue shell pink dots aren't exactly that defined. They're quite, you know, when, you, when you're playing a game, you can't really quite feel, I mean, they're not like horribly mushy or anything like that, but in comparison to some other ones that I've used, they're certainly not as defined as others but you know i'm sure there's some people out there who prefer having a nice small low key sort of click um because it helps them feel more immersed in the game or whatever i was watching some 10 stream the other day and i heard him talking about how he prefers a uh, softer click um that isn't so defined so yeah it's, it definitely just depends on the person and what you what you uh what you prefer but yeah for me personally um i find these switches to be a little bit too soft that's something i didn't actually mention in my review of the lambs atlantis but um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's nothing to do with the mouse, um, per se, it's more so the actual switch itself. Uh, they've both got a 3370, uh, pixel out sensor. Now I'm guessing the reason they're using that rather than like a, you know, newer one, like the 3395 or something like that is because, um, it's wireless. So having the 3370 is better for battery life because it's less, or it's more power efficient than the, uh, than the other versions. And, you know, in terms of gameplay and, and the actual performance of the sensor, um, it's pretty much indistinguishable. Um, so yeah, just because it's a lower number does not mean it's any worse than the 3395. So the sensor, if you're not familiar with it, the polling rate is up to a thousand hertz, which is uh, just, yeah, as you'd expect from a sensor like this, it's not anything too special. Now onto what you get in the box, um, you get this nice uh, paracord-like cable um, along with the wireless receiver, which I've got right here. Now the reason I don't have mine plugged in is because I'm just using the same one um, that I got with my uh, X2. So the same cable I got with the X2, and then I'm just I just removed the wireless receiver, and changed it with the one uh, the one for the uh, X Lite. Yeah, I mean it's nothing too too uh, amazing, but you know I guess it's good enough that if you run out of battery mid game or something like that, um, you can just plug in your mouse and not have uh, too much to worry about because it's not like some horrible you know rubber or braided cable. It's a nice flexible uh, paracord like cable. 
All right, so we're going in a bit more in depth now with the design of this mouse. So you might obviously have noticed this is quite a uh, unique design for a mouse, for a gaming mouse. Um, we've got these different colors over the whole uh, over the whole mouse, which I'm guessing is sort of, you know, to go with the name, it's called the Retro Edition. Yeah, these colors are kind of reminiscent of a old, you know, retro gaming controller or something like that. And then for the lightweight sort of design, I've decided to go for these um, vertical lines uh, down the back and a sort of also on the front here, which is, I guess, better than having the hexagons. Um, as is what I found, it's, it seems to be a lot more comfortable to, to sort of hold like this because you don't really notice it um, making contact with your skin as much or with your hand, I guess you should say, um, as the hexagons would. So yeah, in that department, it's a lot more comfortable. See also on the top here, you've got that nice little uh, inscription or engraving uh, with the Pulsar logo. And then underneath you've got this nice design which is very similar to the uh, design of the X2 um, bottom as well. Okay, now a little comparison of the Superglide uh, 2 skates versus the Superglide 1. So I've actually got the Superglide 1s on the X2 over here. These Superglides came with the Founders Edition of the X2. Um, and I did have some issues with them and I'm going to go in depth with what those were now and how they've been addressed in the latest version of the super glide so the main issue with these is that uh over time they get there's like a coating over them uh, over these skates and over time it gets sort of worn off i guess worn down um and that can lead it uh, to feel a bit more slow over time um which is not really that good because obviously you want mouse skates to feel consistent all the time so i believe what Pulse has done here with the new version of their is they've kind of gotten rid of the gotten rid of the coating altogether um which is why you can tell they're not really as shiny as before they're more like a matte um, finish now on the glass because there's no glossy sort of coating. There is actually a significant difference in the glide feeling in both of these uh, versions which I wasn't really expecting to be honest but it is extremely different. So the main issue I had with these super glide ones uh, after using them for like two months or three months or whatever it was um, is that when you're um, trying to like just move it around it's so smooth um, and a bit too smooth that doing normal things like just trying to click the X button on a tab in Google Chrome or um, just be precise with it. Just everyday things can be, you know, quite a challenge because it's so slippery. It's actually quite annoying to um, to just be precise with it. If that makes any sense. Obviously, in game, my sensitivity is a lot lower than my Windows sensitivity is. You know, my cursor sensitivity. Um, so it's not so much of an issue. But yeah, I mean, if you have really high sense, it'd be very difficult to control your mouse and your aim with these uh, with these mouse feet. Now the issue with the Superguard 2s that I had is that I felt like the break-in time for these is quite long. When I first put them on, it was a bit very, it was just completely ridiculous. Like, uh, it's got extreme stopping power, so doing tracking at low at low speeds was quite hard because it's kind of like like that, like kind of jittering like this. I mean, I'm exaggerating it now, but that's kind of what it feels like. Um, but over time, it's been like a week now. Um, it feels a lot more smooth now, and it feels a lot more consistent um, in comparison to the Superguard ones. So. Just doing everyday things like clicking the X and being precise with it is great on this as well. Um, or it's as good as it should be, but then you also get the added benefit of having glass skates where um, it's just smooth over time. And just doing things like tracking, that, that sort of aim is a lot more consistent. And it also, uh, in target switching as well, I noticed it to be a significantly better than just normal skates uh, because the stopping power of it is, is just so much better. You can just be really smooth with it and as soon as you stop, it just perfectly stops like when you, when you want it to, which is very, very good. But yeah, I mean, overall, the Super Glide 2s is just a, certainly a different experience to the Super Glide 1s. And if you experience any of those issues that I mentioned before, the Super Glide 1s, like, you know, it feeling too difficult to control um, precisely, or it just slowing down over time, then I definitely recommend the Super Glide 2s because although it's got a very long break-in period, over time, uh, when it gets better, it's just so much better than using the Super Glide 1s. Uh, and literally every different, every possible way, it's a lot better. With the coating being removed now as well, I believe that's going to solve the issue of it slowing down over time, uh, apparently. Yeah. Hopefully that, that, is, that is true and it doesn't, it does actually manage to hold up pretty well because, you know, it is glass and that's one of the main benefits of using glass skates is that over time it, it's kind of just stays consistent because it's not plastic and doesn't wear down as easily. Yeah, overall, what I recommend this mouse? Yeah, if you're a fan of Ergonomic Mice, especially the AC series from Zowie, you're going to really like this mouse quite a lot. You know, of course, you got if you've got bigger or smaller hands, uh, you could always just go for the uh, normal XRV2 or the XRV2 Mini. But yeah, I did hear that uh, Pulsar are working on the XRV3 Mini and the XRV3. Yeah, I, I would probably wait for just a little while though before you buy this thing because I heard that Pulsar is actually working on an uh, XRV3. Um, and this is actually also the last release 
or the last variant um, that's going to be released for the XR V2, which means that the XR V3 is uh, most certainly coming very, very soon. So I can only imagine it's going to be this, but somehow they'll improve it. So I would say probably just wait for that. If you're looking for a mouse to buy like right now, then yes, this mouse is certainly a good choice. All right, well, that about wraps it up for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to have a like and subscribe for more content just like this one. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.